Puts it back behind his net. Chance in front, they score! What a wraparound! Matt Yonke, a blazing wraparound stuff. Put it in front, oh, what a kick save made by Nato. Johnson thought he had the goal. The Shepherd sent it to Lindauer, right circle. Back to the Shepherd. the one-timer, they score! Perfect clockwork passing. Lindauer to the Shepherd to Magnavite. Nice move by Lozen. Cards the net, shoots and scores! Five hole right through Billsboro. Yankee now, he puts it out in front, one time they score! Yankee with a beautiful pass in front to Flavian Fontenouz. Here they come, Lindauer puts it towards the front of the net, they score! Lindauer to Ratzloff, and it's 2 nothing. Bing, bang, boom, here come the chill. Akrovic, perfect touch pass, here's Schultz, shot the goal! Akrovic to Schultz, and we're all tied up 2-2. This place is going to go nuts. Tune to Shepard can score. Walks it up very slowly towards the net. Boucher down in position. Shoots and scores! Tune to Shepard! Hold the arrow and fires. And the Chill win this game in a shootout. Lindauer has Magnavite. Some space up left wing. A two-on-one here for the Chill. Out in front. They score! What a goal! Magnavite to Lindauer. How many times have they done it this season? And not many bigger than that. This is the fastest game in town. Cooley Region Chill NA3HL Hockey on the Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV. All the cold steel on ice NA3HL action is presented to you by Cooley Bank. Bank with confidence. Member FDIC. Waste management. There's more to their business than meets the eye. Jones Construction. New construction or home remodeling. Call 608-386-8292. Cooley Golf Bowl. The number one recreation facility in Onalaska. Ultra Federal Credit Union. Equal housing lender. Member NCUA. Chill Hockey is also brought to you by Radio 1 Broadcast School. We take you from here to air at Radio1School.com. Domino's, order online at Domino's.com. Ebner Properties, a proud supporter of Cooley Region Athletics. Howie's, lacrosse's ultimate sports viewing venue. Interstate Wealth, LLC, your road to success starts right here. And by Hilltopper Refuse and Recycling Service, at your disposal since 1984. BA Burrito Company, boldly mixing mad flavors delivered right to your door. And every plumbing and heating. Give them a call when you want it done right. Now, here with the call of the action from Green Island Ice Arena in La Crosse, Wisconsin. The voice of hockey in the Cooley region, Rick Frankie. Ah, uh, welcome to game two of the Central Division Finals Frazier Cup playoffs here in the NA3HL. My name is Rick Frankie. We've got a game two for you, and that means it's brink of elimination for the Cooley region chill after a 6-2 loss last night to the St. Louis Junior Blues. They've got to play their best game. They did it after losing in the first game of the semifinals out in Peoria. Can they do it again and stave off elimination and force a game three, which will be played tomorrow at 2 o'clock? We all hope so as Chill fans. I know you St. Louis fans out there are looking for the opposite results. You're looking for a sweep like you did against the Milwaukee Power. Both games were in your home rink. You're playing as the home team in Green Island Ice Arena in this game tonight, in this game two. Leading the series one game to nothing. Big night last night for Matt Monreal. He has three goals in the playoffs, had two last night. Ivan Galaguzov scored two goals last night, four for the playoffs. The Junior Blues are undefeated in three games played here in this year's playoffs, averaging 4.3 goals per game in the playoffs, giving up just 1.7. Power play 2 for 11 at 18% against the Chill. It's 9 for 26 at 35%. Boy, the Chill would like to have those numbers. The power play, which was so good, fourth best in the league during the regular season, is in a major drought. The Chill 2-2 in the playoffs so far. Just 2.3 goals per game, allowing 3 goals per game. And the power play is 0 for 21. 0 for 21. That's got to end tonight if the Chill are going to force a game three. That is without question. Both coaches, Coach Flogger and also Coach John Valencourt, have made a couple of tweaks, a couple of changes. I'm going to have those changes for you. I'll give away the St. Louis change first. I've been told by Kevin Gear, the broadcaster for St. Louis, that it's going to be a different netminder tonight. Mikhail Fouché going to get a rest and it's supposed to be Jack Regan in net. Now, Regan played a couple of times against the CRC this season from Sylvania, Ohio, a 99 birth year, 6 foot, 
175, five and three on the regular season, 2.71 goals against average, and a 914 save percentage. When I come back here in the Cooley Golf Bowl pregame show, we're going to take a look at the chill lines for tonight, the starters, and your starting net miner. Is there going to be a change there? We'll talk about it. Coming up next here on the Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV. Looking for the latest on the Cooley Region chill? Check out the Sports Lead with John Papadopoulos every Wednesday between 4 and 6 p.m. on ESPN Radio 105.5 to hear the chill GM head coach John Valencourt as he talks with Pops on all things chill. That's the Sports Lead, 4 to 6 p.m. Wednesdays on ESPN Radio 105.5. Do you earn 2.65 annual percentage yield on your checking account balance? If you had a Cooley Bank Kasasa Cash checking account, you would. Your free Kasasa Cash checking account includes free MasterCard debit card, free online banking, bill pay, e-statements, Cooley Bank mobile app, and ATM fee rebates. Earn 2.65 APY on your free Kasasa Cash checking account. Cooley Bank, member FDIC. Qualifications, rules, and limitations apply. Rates, rewards, and restrictions may vary by account. See CooleyBank.net for more information. When you hear Domino's, you think pizza. But we're more than that. We're mouth-watering bread twists, oven-baked sandwiches, pastas, chicken, and pizza. Just $5.99 each when you order two or more. We didn't stop at pizza, and you don't have to either. Hilltopper Refuse and Recycling Service has been at your disposal since 1984. It's all about the service and customer satisfaction. When Hilltopper Refuse and Recycling says they're going to be there, you can count on them. Hilltopper Refuse and Recycling means responsible recycling. The Hogan family is a proud supporter of Onalaska Hilltoppers Athletics. If you're in the need of their reliable services, give them a call at 608-783-6727 or visit them online at hilltopperrefuse.com. Ebner Properties of La Crosse is a proud supporter of hockey in the Cooley region and a great state of Wisconsin. Whether it's at the youth, high school, triple A, elite, junior, or college level. Furthering the growth of hockey is the mission. Ebner Properties would like to wish all of our area teams at all levels the very best this season. Remember, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Quote from the great one. Wayne Gretzky. Cooley Golf Bowl is the number one recreation facility in Onalaska, but it's also a perfect place to watch the big game or stop in after a hard day's work to unwind with great food and drinks. Cooley Golf Bowl has you covered with an extensive menu, including great choices from apps to entrees and mouth-watering daily specials like burgers, tacos, prime rib, tenderloin tips, shrimp, fish, and roasted chicken are just a few of the daily specials. Cooley Golf Bowl Sports Bar and Grill. Visit them online at CooleyGB.com and and sign up for their e-club to get special offers and promotions. Welcome back to the Cooley Golf Ball pregame show. Rick Frankie from Green Island Ice Arena in La Crosse. Cooley Region Chill taking on the St. Louis Junior Blues in Game 2 of the Frazier Cup Central Division Finals. And let's take a look at who's going to be on the ice tonight for the CRC in Game 2. A goaltender change for Coach Valencourt. It will be Michael Yonke getting the call in net for the CRC from Weston, Wisconsin. Of course, brother of Matt Yonke, the forward. And uh, the numbers on the season from the 2000 birth year, 5'11", 165-pound goalie from Weston. 10-1-0-0, 1.82 goals against, a 908 save percentage and one shutout on the season. Came over from Granite City and hoping to have one of his biggest efforts tonight against a very tough St. Louis Junior Blues squad. Starting defenseman who will be announced tonight, Toon DeShepper, will be announced with Connor Lawson, although the line sheet has the same defensive pairings as last night with Keaton Kaplis on the left side and Connor Lawson on the right side. Toon DeShepper on the left side with Chase McLaughlin on the right and Judson McGrath on the left side with Giuseppe on the right side. But we'll see. Coach Valencourt may be mixing lots of things up depending on how things go tonight. Fourth line is going to be centered by Matt Yonke. It'll be Chris Drews on left wing on that line with Brock Zukowski on the right side. Then it'll be on the second line, Flavian Fondadouz centering Aslan Akervik on left wing and Sam Dabrowski on the right side. Brandon Ratzloff, as always, centering Thomas Magnavite on left wing and Brady Lindauer 
On the right side, the team captain. The starting forward line tonight will be Donnie Schultz at center. Gadel Kismetulin in the lineup tonight on left wing. And Marco Escobar scored a big goal last night. Brought the chill within one. It was 3-2, to two, but eventually that gave way to an onslaught from Ivan Galaguzov. And St. Louis was 6-2 to two winners. We'll take another break and be back with a look at the playoffs in the finals and what's happened so far last night and earlier today. Let you know where the series stand coming up here in our Cooley Golf Bowl pregame show on Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV. Hi, I'm Zach. I'm an Ultra member and this is my story. When I moved away for college, I thought I would have to find a different financial. But with Ultra's mobile app, ATM networking, and shared branching, I didn't need to. I can take Ultra with me wherever I go. Ultra's mobile and online banking makes it easier than ever to manage your accounts from anywhere, anytime. Visit Ultra.org today or stop in at Ultra Federal Credit Union in La Crosse, Onalaska, Holman, West Salem, La Crescent, or Winona. It's where you belong. Federally insured by NCUA. BA Burrito is more than just delicious food made to order. Did you know you could have your next event catered by BA? You bet. Business lunches, team events, any type of gathering, BA Burrito will deliver your spread right to your event. You don't have to do a thing. Great for school functions, parties, even fundraisers. Visit BA online at baburritoco.com for more info. BA Burrito would like to thank all their loyal customers. BA Burrito Village Shopping Center and on Copeland Avenue Lacrosse. Just like all the King's men that couldn't help Humpty Dumpty, if we break an egg, we can't put it back together again. You've worked hard to build your retirement nest egg. Don't let something break it when you need it most. Call Brent Peterson at Interstate Wealth LLC to help make sure nothing breaks your retirement nest egg. Investment advisory services offered through Virtue Capital Management LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. Interstate Wealth LLC is independent of Virtue Capital Management. Howie's on Lacrosse Street has been a lacrosse landmark for decades. Gourmet burgers. Signature sandwiches and in-house smoked meats that are sure to please your taste buds. Whether it's Wing Wednesday, Howie's Happy Hour, or the Burger of the Month, Howie's Patty Melt. Howie's has something for everyone. Check out the menu and specials online, howiesonlacrosse.com. Follow your favorite sports teams and UFC events at Lacrosse's ultimate sports viewing venue, Howie's Lacrosse. Waste Management of Wisconsin is your local choice for all of your collection and disposal needs, from collection and recycling to state of the art landfill operations. At Waste Management, Think Green is a way of life. It means commitment to customer satisfaction and long term relationships. It means cleaner, safer communities. And it means you receive high quality service second to none. Their goal is to be the single source for all of your collection and disposal needs. Sign up today and see why more people choose waste management than any other. Contact Dean Lounsbro, D-L-O-U-N-S-B-R at WM.com, 608-518-1720. Lights dimmed here at Green Island Ice Arena, getting ready for introductions and anthem coming up momentarily. Taking a look at the Frazier Cup playoffs, Coastal Division Finals, the LA Nordiques have advanced to the Frazier Cup round robin in Woodridge, Illinois, after sweeping the Northeast Generals, beating them five to one and seven to three. Frontier Division Finals, the Helena Bighorns won game one at home, five to three over the Great Falls Americans, but game two was a 4-0 shutout by Great Falls to force a deciding game three tonight in Helena at 8.05. The officials have taken the ice here. Let's get you another series that has come to conclusion. The Texas Brahmas took game one against Atlanta, 5-1 and one today, 5-0. So they punched their ticket to Woodridge, Illinois in the Frazier Cup round robin. The Northeast Division Finals, Binghamton blew out Oswego. In game one, 12 to three, they are playing here right now, and it looks like Binghamton has a one nothing lead after one period of play in that game. In the West Division Finals, the North Iowa Bulls defeated the Alexandria Blizzard last night in Mason City, three to one. Game two is tonight in Alexandria, a 7-10 puck drop. Our public address announcer is just about set to do introductions of the St. Louis Junior Blues, and then the Cooley Region Chill, our anthem, and we'll drop the puck here in game two from Green Island Ice Arena in Lacrosse on the Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV.
And now the starting lineups for the St. Louis Junior Blues at forward number 38, Ivan Galaguzov. At forward number 19, Nathan Sargent. At forward number nine, Sean Hofstetter. At defense, number 23, Jake Faulkner. At defense, number four, Blake Dangos. And in goal, number 33, Jack Regan. The Junior Blues are coached by GM head coach, Chris Blogger. Them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's Welcome to the ice, the Cooley Regents Fever mascot, the Cooley Regent Chills. Shabber! And now let's give it up for your 2018 2019 Cooley Regent Chills. Dirty for the chill tonight. Number 19, Goddell. That's forward number seven, Donnie Schultz. Starting at defense, number 14, Toon D. Shepard. At defense, number 22, Connor Wilson. At forward, number 19, Kendall Kesmatulin. At forward, number 7, Donnie. Please rise, remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Still there, oh, say does that 
Well, there you go. Introductions anthem and the drop of the puck is coming up next here on the Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV. Cooley Golf Bowl is the number one recreation facility in Onalaska. Choose Cooley Golf Bowl as a location for your next golf event or party. Whether you plan to hold a large corporate or charity event, just a group of 12 on a golf getaway, or even an afternoon of bowling, Cooley Golf Bowl is the complete destination. Take advantage of their birthday party specials, and if you're interested in league play, there are leagues always looking for individuals and teams to join the fun. Cooley Golf Bowl in Onalaska. It's time to get your planning underway. 608 781-1111 or CooleyGB.com. Both teams made it the center circle and the playoff atmosphere is alive and electric here at Green Island Ice Arena in La Crosse. We are underway and the Cooley Region chill with the opening draw. Puck in the neutral zone, big hit there by St. Louis as it's sent down and into the CRCN. Connor Lawson first to the puck. Now he slung it out left wing. It'll be dropped right back in across the line by Faulkner, and now the chill playing up the right side. That no-look pass by Escobar was intercepted by Dangus, then sent up the left wing wall here by the Junior Blues. All the way back down to the chill end. Connor Lawson. Send it off to Goodell, Kiss Matulin. Now a quick touch pass, and here comes Donnie Schultz across the line, left wing. He got poke check. Puck came into the corner, now to the end wall. Puck battle here as Regan looks over his right shoulder. Monreal had his pocket pick shot on that stick, saved by Regan. Quick turnaround, a nice shift there to start the game for the Cooley Region Chill, just about a minute in to the first period of play. Game two, Central Division Finals. Chill with their backs against the wall like they were once before. A great crowd on the fan deck. They are making noise, and you got to love that. Last night, a bit of a light crowd, kind of a surprise. Tonight, a much better audience for this one. Puck picked up there by Weedhop. He'll send it all the way down to the chill end. First to it in the corner was Dante Jones. Now the puck bounces again to the far wall where it's picked up by the Cooley Region Chill. Chip towards the neutral zone. Little hand pass there. And the whistle is blown, of course, because you can do it in the defensive zone, but not anywhere else. That'll mean the faceoff will move to the far dot just outside the St. Louis Blue Line. For those of you listening tonight for free on the Cooley Region Sports Network.com on our YouTube channel. Audio only there. And hello to those of you on Hockey TV taking in the game. Thanks to our cameraman, Cole Richter at center ice. Johnny Jones running the rear view from where I'm broadcasting from. And, of course, also the video switcher. Puck at the near wall here inside the St. Louis zone. And a constant puck battle goes on here one after another. Juricic got it across the blue line. And that's chip left wing for Magnavite. He has to reach back and reset. Drop back to the defense. Chilling there. Road jerseys as they come into the attack zone. Ratzloff along the near boards. Sent it down low. Magnavite delivers a hit. Didn't get all of the body into it. There's Mazzillo. He'll try to throw it out of the zone. She'll keep that puck in. Picked up behind the net by Urasic. Worked it up the left side. Dante Jones hustles to try to just whack that along the blue line. He got it there. And Wilson chipped it up ahead. Right wing. And the dump in by Monreal. And a line change here for St. Louis. The Chill finish off their line change. Wilson still inside the zone. Loose puck picked up by Lindauer. He gets it to center. Here come the Chill into the zone. Thrown in and down and around there by Judson McGrath. Akervik throws the body in a nice hit. Picked up here to near circle. Oh, Dabrowski didn't uh, pull the trigger on the shot. Drops it back near point. Slung along the blue line, then tapped into the corner by McGrath. Now it's Akervik. He fights for the biscuit. Fonda News picks it up. Left wing wall, turn around, shot just off the goaltender and the side of the net. Now Bacardi, he tries to clear, he can't. Chill setting a good tempo here right now. Bacardi with the puck, sent it along the end wall near side, Faulkner. That gets tipped by a stick and all the way down into the Cooley region end, and it should be icing. A little bit of a breather as the tempo is fast and furious here to start this first period. 17-14 to play. Period number one, no score, two shots on goal for the Cooley Region Chill. This is the first playoff games for both goaltenders. Regan for St. Louis and Michael Yonke for the Chill. 
Off the draw, Bacardi will flip the puck all the way down yet again to the chill end. And it'll come right back towards Jack Regan. And the faceoff will be again at the near circle. Fans still filing in. Catch the action here tonight. Faceoff here at the near circle. Wilson going with Ratzloff. Ratzloff wins it back to the Shepherd. He puts it to the far circle. The whiff on the shot there by Lindauer. Drop down to the far corner for Ratzloff. He evades the check from Wilson. Drop back there to the far point. And the shot by Lozen was hit by the stick of Regan. Now it comes along the end wall to the far corner where it's picked up by Wilson. Wilson lost it for a brief moment, then tries to shovel it past the Cooley Region Chill forecheck, which has been vicious. Shot on net, kick save again by Regan, thrown softly from the top of the far circle. Here's Lindauer, drops it back to the blue line, hops over Lozen's stick. He'll send it back to DeShepper, neutral zone near side, and he throws it back in with a dump in. Picked up here by Mazzillo. From the slot, he makes a stick handling move, almost poke checked away by Brock Zukowski. Right wing neutral zone dump in there by the Junior Blues off the stick of Hostetter. And now the Chill will try to pick it up in their own far corner. They get hit hard, sent along the end wall. They Chill work it up near side. Zukowski towards center. Pass a little behind, but handled there by Drews. Drews throws it towards the front of the net, but nobody in a dark blue jersey and black and blue jersey could do anything with it. Now from the bottom of the near circle, a lot of poke checking going on there as it's sent behind the net. Sargent sends it off the right wing wall. Up the right side, it's Hofstetter. Hofstetter chases the puck to the corner, just as Shepard tried to poke it past him. Now Drews with a backhand. Bouncing puck, glove by Sargent, slapped wide. It was actually blocked and came back in the neutral zone, and Dangus dumps it in. Line change here for St. Louis. Chill with lots of space in their own end. They'll take it up the ice. Lozen passed it right wing. And now loose biscuit picked up there by St. Louis, and the chase is in as Lesnock goes after it. He had a goal last night. Behind the chill net, right wing wall, nice touch pass off the wall. Here come the chill, up the right wing, stick handling, trying to break the defense was Kiss Matul, and he almost got through. Faulkner and Bivignani. Now Schultz with the puck in the neutral zone. And he tried to hit Kiss Matul in left wing, and he'll pick it back up again. St. Louis, nice right wing pass to Joe Papa. Papa collides in the corner, and we got a whistle. He wiped out down in the far corner. 14.52 to play here in the first period. We're scoreless. Shots are 2-1. Cooley region chill. And they'll get a defenseman change here, will the Junior Blues and Coach Flogger. Draw will be at the far circle inside the Cooley region end. St. Louis picks it up off the faceoff. It looked like uh, legs came out from under a St. Louis junior blue, and the Chill take it up the right wing. Escobar dumps and chases. Escobar tries to get position on the puck as he's chased by Urisic. Drops it back to the near point, and it's sent far point there to DeShepper, and stolen by Urisic at the near circle, and sent up ahead to Monreal. Monreal, he'll take it left wing towards the net. Backhand shot, and it caught the piece of uh, Michael Yankee's glove. He was able to make the stop. And now here come the chill up left wing. Schultz trying to get around the defense, not able to break through. Mozillo circle to circle pass. Now up ice, it's Bacardi. Bacardi covered there by Dabrowski. Dumps it into the chill end. Quickly played off the left wing wall. A little too far for its intended receiver. Akrovic threw a bit of a hit there near the penalty box area. Regan uses his stick there to drop it off to Bacardi who hits a St. Louis stick along the near boards and all the way down, so no icing there. Puck in the far corner of the Chile. 13-38 and counting here, first period, no score, shots 3-1, Cooley region. Dabrowski finally gets the puck off the near board, still sitting there inside the blue line, and St. Louis sends it down back behind the net where Lozen waits for it. Connor Lozen with a nice backhand touch pass. Here comes Dabrowski, upright wing into the attack zone. Dabrowski, oh, he tried to hit the inside of the far circle for Akervik, but disrupted by the defense. Here's Dabrowski behind the net, tries to stuff it in. Regan makes the save, and then a St. Louis defender, Urisic, hit by Fondadeus, falls on top of the back of the head of Regan while he was in the net. And the officials break things up. Speaking of the officials for tonight's contest, here are the names for you. 
The referee is Bo Haffemeyer. The linesmen are Eric Arago and Jack Young. Faceoff stays down inside. The St. Louis end. Shots 5-1, Cooley region. No score, 13-12 left here in the first period. Sargent with Ratzloff. Ratzloff got a piece of the puck, sent it to the end wall. St. Louis works it from their end wall up left side. And Galaguzov got knocked down. Here's a puck pushed towards the net, but intercepted by Magnavite. Banks it off the right wing wall to Lindauer. Brady Lindauer takes it up by slowly. Drops it to the right circle, and Ratzloff not able to pull the trigger as Dangus was on him quickly. Urisic in the corner draws a crowd as two chill skaters trying to get the puck loose. It'll be Dangus who had a piece of it then. Lindauer towards the front of the net, chance they score! Lindauer to Magnavite to Ratzloff in front and the Cooley region chill take a one to nothing lead with 12.38. Left here in the first period. Excellent. All right, here we go. That's the way we like to do things. Of course, she scored the first goal in last night's game. It was Connor Lozen from Thomas Magnavite. What a great crowd on the Iceberg fan deck. This is playoff hockey. Tie up on the draw. Sent ahead on net. Michael Yonke makes the save. Shoveled it off to Gista Shepper. Banked it up the left wing. Quick touch pass off the wall. Stolen by the Junior Blues and dumped down and in by Jacob Weedhop. Now from the corner, Chill not able to get that puck out. Nice job pinching there by Jake Faulkner. Held in at the near point by Mazzillo. Mazzillo slings it along the line to Faulkner. Banks it off the right wing wall. Puck comes behind the net. To the near corner it goes. And picked up here by the Cooley Region Chill. Struggle for DeShepard to get outside the zone. Monreal peels off the left wing wall. Puts it to the far circle. The shot by Faulkner and the save made by Michael Yonke. Now again, back to Mazzillo. Mazzillo worked it down the left wing wall. And a couple of hits there as it's finally picked up here by just DeShepard. DeShepard. Sent it, right wing, they can't clear Monreal from the blue line, puts it towards the net, blocked by the Cooley region chill. Kiss Matulin, nice stretch to Escobar. Escobar working it around the defense, cutting towards the net. Escobar with a shot on net and a save made by Regan. Great constitution and dexterity by one Marco Escobar as he took the puck towards the net. Great action here at Green Island Ice Arena. Shots are 6-3. Cooley Region chill. It's a 1-0 lead for the CRC. And a great goal it was. Tic-tac passing. A great setup by Thomas Magnavite after he got the puck from Brady Lindauer. And Ratzloff scores his first playoff goal. But he's got five points in the playoffs. Four assists. Off the draw. St. Louis slapping at it from their own slop. Bacardi steered it to the far boards. Now Chris Drews looks for it, but it's picked up by St. Louis. Wilson up the right wing wall, taken away by the chill. Lozen sent it off, and it's dumped in by Zukowski. Regan plays it out back behind the net. Now it's three, four players trying to go for it. Is it chill trying to work it off the end wall? Yaki sent it back. There's a shot on net and a save. Well, at the stick by Regan as Drews was in front to try to redirect it and set the screen. Zukowski slings it back. Lozen with a shot, and the save is made down low top of the crease by Regan. And we'll have another draw inside the St. Louis zone. This is the way the Cooley Region Chill typically play during the season. But we have not seen it like this in a while, even in the Peoria series. That was great sustained pressure, and they've had much of it here early on. But just a one to nothing lead with 10.44 left here in the first period. Face off of the far circle, down inside the St. Louis end. Off the draw, collected by the chill. Dabrowski with a shot that was blocked in front. Oh, tripping was fond to do. And he goes down as he coughs up the puck. Akrovic not able to work with it either. Alaguzov gets it right wing. That's on the stick of Hofstetter. And then stolen by the chill. Nice job by Sam Dabrowski on defense. Here's fond to do. He sends it left wing, but Akrovic can't pick up the pass. And the Junior Blues send it all the way down into the chill end. First to the puck with the CRC, McLaughlin. Now slap from the left point, and it was wild and off target. St. Louis picks it up, keeps it in. 
Drills it in back behind the chill net. CRC first to the biscuit. Here they come up the right wing again on the attack. There's a shot on net by Father Deuce. Save was made by Regan and then almost put in by Magnavite just over the crossbar. Here's Lozen. Sends it back to uh, Brady Lindauer. McLaughlin just gets a piece of it to keep it in. Sends it down low. Now it's Magnavite picking it up. Throws it from the right wing wall to Lindauer, but it didn't make it all the way to Regan. Schill are buzzing right now. Lindauer behind the net. Magnavite tries to feed the point. He does. A shot there and a save by Regan. Juggled off the stick of Judson McGrath and everyone throwing pucks on net right now, including McGrath. 13 to 3, the shots in favor of the CRC. 9.28 remains here in the first period. The Cooley Regent Chill have a 1 to nothing lead and continue to have the puck in the attack zone. Brandon Ratzloff settles in. He's been great on faceoffs here in the first period. Trying to win it here against Weedhop, and Weedhop will win it this time. Mozillo. And tapped by Monreal. Picked up here by Weedhop. And he sent it off to Dante Jones. Tripped up as he goes into the end wall. And that's going to be a power play coming up for St. Louis. And the fans don't like the call. But the legs were taken out. And it will be St. Louis on the power play. They are 2 for 11 in the playoffs. 18%. They are 9 for 26 and 35% against the Cooley Region Chill in seven games. And you got to watch out for Ivan Galaguzov. Two goals last night. He's out there. Urasic off the draw. Oh, it's Galaguzov who sent it down to the far circle. And the Chill able to get a stick on it and clear it down all the way. Slow bouncing puck all the way down. Johnny Jones, our, one of our cameramen, has his cowbell with him tonight, so you may hear that from time to time. <laughs> Left wing, a puck on the stick of Hofstetter. Sent it back down to the far corner. Urasich will pinch to keep it in. Love by Galaguza, poked down with a backhand. Wilson worked it along the end wall to the near corner. St. Louis continues with the power play, 120 left. Chill able to clear it right on net there from their defensive zone, and Regan makes the stick save. Good accuracy there. Here's Juricic. He gets off for a change. Left it for Faulkner. Faulkner now behind the net. Nope, Faulkner doesn't take it out. Dangus, who was out there for the change, takes it up the left side with good speed. Dangus throws it off the left corner, comes all the way around, and Escobar clears it with a backhand and gets off for a change. 49 seconds left on the St. Louis power play. From behind the net, Dangus passed it right wing, back on his stick. High slot, sends it left wing, neutral zone. Into the zone they come. Hunter Mazzillo worked it behind the net. Now St. Louis pinned up against the end wall. Hope loose to the corner. Grinders game going on there. Chill continue to kill time. And they'll have space. Here they come. Into the zone. Fondadoos from the circle. Put it just wide as he was tied up by Faulkner. Now Donnie Schultz in the far corner. He was hit by Dante Jones. Dangus has the puck. Bottom of the near circle. Just eight seconds left on the power play. Too far for Jones. He reached out, got a piece of it. But Donnie Schultz gets in his way. Puck battle along the St. Louis bench. Sent on in. Great kill by the chill. 14-3. The shots 1-0. They lead 7.08 left. St. Louis with possession. From the bottom of the near circle, it was Juricic sending it ahead. Tipped off the stick of Joe Papa. The race is on to the chill end, and the chill deliver a nice hit there, as I think that was Papa that got knocked down. Could be wrong. Uh, no, as actually uh, Bifignani who got hammered. And the chill up left wing, separated from the puck. It's Juricic with a stretch pass. Got past Papa all the way to the end wall. Picked up by DeShepper behind the net. He takes a hit and then sent it to the near corner with a chill pick it up. They're keeping away from the St. Louis Junior Blues. And that seems to have worked so far. Here's Magnavite coming off the wall. The speedy Thomas Magnavite into the zone. Ooh, he gets upended with a high hit up near the collar area. And a big hit by Lotus. 
Sent all the way down here by the chill. Behind the net, it's Bocardi, and the chill make him pay as Lindauer throws the body hard. From the far corner, Lindauer hustling. Lindauer hitting just everything he can see right now, and that's not normally his game, but I like to see it. Now the chill with the puck. It's Lindauer. He'll take a hit and gets trouble. Penalty coming up. Lindauer was hitting everybody, but they were all clean hits. None of them huge. But then it was a little aggravation for the man who hit him earlier in Lotus, and he goes to the box, putting the chill on the power play. They are 0 for 21 in the playoffs. Can you believe it? Right now, I think they're playing a whole different style of game. The power play could finally end the drought. 5.54 to play here in the first period. Chill up 1 0, out shooting St. Louis 14 3. Lotus in the box. And it'll be cleared down all the way by Juricic. That'll kill some time. Out of the net comes Michael Yonke. Yonke uses the end wall to push it to the left wing boards where it's picked up by Brandon Ratzloff. Warcheck is on with Dante Jones. Chill trick him in too deep. Now they'll pull it up. Up the ice they come. In around the defense. Great pass to center. Oh, the puck was put up high by Ratzloff. What a great work into the zone by the Cooley region. Chill on that rush, but the puck put up high. And the draw should stay. I think it hit a St. Louis stick off the delivery, and they'll drop it here at the near circle. Five thirty-two to play here in the first period. One thirty-eight left on the power play. Magdavite slings it on back to the Shepherd to Mags here at the near circle. Cross ice pass, circle to circle to Lindauer in the far corner. He tries to center. Faulkner got in the way. Held in by DeShepper at the blue line. Now it's Lindauer. Top of the right circle to the top of the near circle. Magnavite feeds it back to the right point to Shepper. Now it's Lindauer. He stops on a dime. Slings it back to DeShepper. Fakes the shot. One-timer on net. And the save was made by Regan off the stick of Magnavite. Again to Shepper and Magnavite playing catch. Now it's to Lindauer. Right circle to the point to Shepper. To Lindauer. That one right into Faulkner and bounces back to Shepper to Lindauer. Power play looking magnificent here. Got to get one in. Magnavite with a low shot and a kick save made by Regan. And Magnavite taken down. 53 seconds left on the power play. The chill keep it in. What an effort there by Ratzloff. Backhand pass gets it on to Lindauer. Lindauer feeds to Shepper. There's a shot on net. Save and trickles just wide to the far post as Regan got just a self-defense save. Lindauer to Magnavite near circle. The chill just continue to buzz here on the power play. Lindauer feeds it back to Shepper. To Shepper, top of the near circle, Magnavite fakes the shot, then back to the Shepper high slot, low one towards the net. It was uh, stopped by Ratzloff before it got there. Now they'll try to set up Magnavite for the one timer, and he had to kick it to his stick, and it goes up and out of play. Shot after shot after shot by the Cooley Region Chill on the power play, the best it's looked in the playoffs so far. 18 to three, the shots on goal, but it's just a one nothing score. 4:14 to play here in the first period. Puck battle down in the near corner. Akervic trying to work that loose. Mazzillo getting hammered from behind. And he gets hammered again by Akervic. Penalty coming up against the chill. They're going to get Akervic, I think. And I think it might be a cross check. Let's see what they say. Yeah, indeed it is. So that's going to put St. Louis four on four for four seconds, then a power play. But I'll tell you what. The Cooley Region Chill are looking a hell of a lot better than they did last night. That I can testify to. Shots were even last night, but the play was completely different on the boards. They are taking it right back to St. Louis, who dominated the physical style last night. So the draw comes all the way back down the chill end here. Four on four hockey for four seconds, then a... Barely shortened power play for St. Louis. Juricic can't keep it in. D to D pass here. So he went to Hofstetter, who's going to probably work that left point, possibly. He's working along with Juricic, left wing. They pass it right to Galaguzov. Chill got a stick on him, but it's picked back up by Galaguzov. Back to Juricic, low shot, and a piece of it, I believe, by Yaki as the puck comes now to the near corner. Chill try to tie him up. The Shepherd takes his man down. More contact as Magnavite tries to poke the puck loose. 
Work back, Juricic, left point. The one-timer, Galaguzov fired it wide. Comes off the glass, back to Monreal. Monreal to the blue line. Juricic towards the net, save off the pad. They tried to work it again from the near side, and a whistle as I'm not sure if the net came off or not. Let's see, I'm trying to pick up the official. They're going to get a line change here. Draw going to stay down the chill end with 3.13 left here in period number one. Good crowd here tonight. Fan deck is absolutely packed. I can't. I don't even believe they can possibly have that many people on the iceberg fan deck at one time. Hopefully it holds up tonight. <laughs> Holy moly. Good stuff. All right, 115 left on the power play for St. Louis. Tie up on the draw, but it's picked up here and worked around by Weedhop. Now, Weedhop back on his stick. Does a pirouette at the near circle. Dropped it back to the blue line, Faulkner. Then he sent it off right side. Now it'll be the chill, clearing the puck. Past the stick and all the way down to Regan and Ned. Jack shovels it off to Dangus. Dangus with the puck, takes it out from behind the net. Sends it right wing. Faulkner sends it in, takes a hit by Schultz, and then grabs Schultz's stick and throws it against the boards. Chill collide, turnover. Here's an opportunity for St. Louis, and the glove saved by Michael Yankee. Oh, almost had to pay on that turnover, but Yankee able to glove it. It didn't have a whole lot on it, and he stabbed it out of the air. 34 seconds left on the penalty to Akervik. 2.31 left here in the first period. 1-0, Cooley Region Chill off the stick of Brandon Ratzloff, assisted by Thomas Magnavite and Brady Lindauer. 7.22 into the period. They'll drop the puck of the far circle inside the chill end. Zach Wilson looking to keep the puck in with 34 seconds left on the St. Louis power play. And he's able to do it. In the corner, Chill try to clear. Held in here at the near point. That was Hofstetter. And his pass is intercepted. Oh, but Escobar not able to run with it. But the second effort by the Chill is to clear it down all the way. Regan grabbed the puck for Juricic. Comes out far side of the net. Juricic up the right wing. Juricic sends it deep. Behind the net, Wilson goes after it. Now out of the near corner. St. Louis power play comes to completion. The Chill have killed it off. Second kill of this game. Now Lozen will send it all the way into the St. Louis end. Mozilla with the puck. Slowly creeps up the left side. Touch pass there as he connects with Jack Moore. And that's disrupted in the slot, and the chill. Come up, Lindauer, left wing, into the attack zone. Brady Lindauer, snap shot, saved by Regan. He pounces out on top of it. As there's a bit of a skirmish along the end, end wall, and let's see if I can pick up. Uh, they separate pretty quickly. They were going to put on a nice little show for the Iceberg fan deck there, as it was up close and personal. Magnavite, Ratzloff, Moore, and Lotus all down there. I haven't seen the door open up, but I do see that Dangus is going to get a seat. And they just put up two minutes for Blake Dangus, played for Car Shield. At 2002 birth year, 5'7", 145. Not big in stature, but he's quick. And so it's a power play now for the Cooley Region Chill. They put on great pressure, weren't able to score. Well, let's see if they can put on that same kind of effort. The draw was won by Ratzloff, but it comes all the way back into the neutral zone. Sent ahead, Lindauer. Bank off the right wing wall and unable to pick it up was Magnavite. And Dante Jones is sent pounding into the boards by Lindauer. Brady Lindauer adding a new element to his game. I do believe I... Saw one of the coaches from St. Mary's here, and I think he wants to see more of that next season. Puck battle in the chill end. Magnavite involved. Ratzloff there. Here's Mag. Sent it on the tape. Here's Lindauer up right wing. Lindauer off the stick of Yankee. Back to DeShepper. Yankee tried to feed. Knocked back towards his stick. And now it'll be Lindauer picking it up in the near corner. Feeds it back near point to Shepard. Top of the far circle, Magnemite. Magnemite with the ripper was deflected by a St. Louis stick and then pouncing out on top of it again was Jack Regan. 
to get the whistle with 40 seconds left here in the first period. 1-0 Cooley Region Chill. 20 shots on goal here in the first period. Seven for St. Louis. 108 left on the power play. Wilson settles into the circle here with Donnie Schultz. And Schultz will have to peel back for a moment. They're gonna get him back in here. Arago set to drop the puck. And one by the chill. Akervik sent it back to Lozen. Now near circle shot on net. Regan with another save off the stick of Kaplis, who we haven't heard much from here in this first period. But uh, this was his opportunity to try to bury one, and he was close to doing it. Again, here comes Donnie Schultz to the circle with Zach Wilson right off the draw. It squirts to Regan, and he'll cover that one up as well. 22 shots on goal. Not really a shot, but it did get to the goaltender. They put it up. Here's the chill, Kaplis. Fed back high slot and trouble for Lozen to hold it and he'll give it back to Kaplis who has two guys on him. And it hops Lozen's stick again. Connor picks it up. Up the left wing comes Connor Lozen. Lozen dangling towards the slot. Picked up here and a shot. Oh, up over the crossbar by Akrovic. Didn't miss by much, about six inches. Here's Schultz. Hits Lozen in the midsection with the puck loose. Puck poked. Oh, and here they come, Zach Wilson. Up left wing, back on defense though, the Chills team in position looking for a hip check. And the Ole on Kaplis' hip check attempt. And then a little bit of action behind the chill net. But how about that first period? Only one goal, but 23 shots on net to seven for St. Louis. And the chill will have 27 seconds worth of power play time. The power play may be 0 for 22, but it has a whole different look here tonight in game two. We'll be back with your first intermission coming up next here on the Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV. Ever dreamed about doing what these guys are doing right now on CRSN? Ever think about having a career in sports broadcasting? There are great jobs right now for play-by-play -play announcers, sportscasters, and sports directors at great radio stations all over the U.S. And other jobs like air personalities, producers, voiceover people, and more. At Radio One Broadcast School, you get trained and ready for your new radio job. Hit up our website, radio1school.com. That's radio1school.com. Many of us will end up working 40 to 50 years of our lives, saving and hoping that we'll be able to live comfortably and have a successful retirement. But saving and investing smartly is only half the game. Mistakes made during the game can have lasting effects. If you're questioning your retirement game plan, call Brent Peterson at Interstate Wealth, LLC. Your road to success starts here. Investment advisory services offered through Virtue Capital Management, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. Interstate Wealth, LLC is independent of Virtue Capital Management. BA Burrito is more than just delicious food made to order. Did you know you could have your next event catered by BA? You bet. Business lunches, team events, any type of gathering, BA Burrito will deliver your spread right to your event. You don't have to do a thing. Great for school functions, parties, even fundraisers. Visit BA online at baburritoco.com for more info. BA Burrito would like to thank all their loyal customers. BA Burrito Village Shopping Center and on Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. Ebner Properties of La Crosse is a proud supporter of hockey in the Cooley region and a great state of Wisconsin. Whether it's at the youth, high school, AAA, elite, junior, or college level, furthering the growth of hockey is the mission. Ebner Properties would like to wish all of our area teams at all levels the very best this season. Remember, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Quote from the great one, Wayne Gretzky. The River City Rough Riders, proud tradition of semi-pro football in the Cooley region since 2003, is back. New members of the CAFL, Champions Amateur Football League, playing all home games at La Crosse Logan High School. The Rough Riders' first home game is May 11th at 4 p.m. versus the Milwaukee Chargers. Get your tickets now for all the gridiron action by going to rcroughriders.info. General admission tickets are only $10. Kids 12 
12 and under are free, and there's a designated play area. CRSN is your official broadcast network for the River City Rough Riders home games and coaches show. The Rough Riders roll on CooleyRegionSportsNetwork.com. Looking for the latest on the Cooley Region Chill? Check out the Sports Lead with John Papadopoulos every Wednesday between 4 and 6 p.m. on ESPN Radio 105.5 to hear the Chill GM head coach John Valencourt as he talks with Pops on all things chill. That's the Sports Lead, 4 to 6 p.m. Wednesdays on ESPN Radio 105.5. Well, I had to catch my breath after that first period. 23 shots on goal for the Cooley Region Chill in that first period. Seven for St. Louis, one up on the board. Give some kudos to the goaltender, Jack Regan, getting the nod from Coach Vlogger here tonight. He's really faced a lot of rubber. I can see uh, on the jersey there are some puck marks, uh, maybe a couple, two, three of them. But, uh, boy, he stood strong, gave up the one, and it was a great, pretty goal by the Cooley Region Chill. And it's not a surprise who was involved in it, right? Brandon Ratzloff's first of the playoffs. He has four assists for five points now in this year's playoffs. 722 into the first period. Thomas Magnavite picks up the assist along with Brady Lindauer. Second assist of the playoffs for Mags. And for Brady, it was his fourth assist of the playoffs. Michael Yonke looks strong in net as he stopped all seven of the shots that came his way, including a couple of tough ones. But the chill had the majority of the attack zone time in that first period. Other games going on, well, Texas advanced to the Frazier Cup round robin by beating Atlanta 5 to nothing earlier today. Binghamton has a 4-1 to lead on Oswego. They win that. They punch their ticket for the second straight year. And North Iowa is up 2-0 at Alexandria, and uh, that's not good news for the Blizzard. They're going to have to fight back, or they will be eliminated as well, and North Iowa will punch their ticket after being eliminated last year by the Cooley Region Chill in the Division Finals. And the first time ever they beat him in a series, the first time ever that the North Iowa Bulls were beaten in their own building in that playoff series. little fun fact for you. But a bad fact from last year was when the Chill, or I should say the Freeze at that time, went to the round robin in Romeoville. It was the St. Louis Junior Blues that ended their season in a 5 to nothing win in the semifinals. St. Louis eventually loses to the Metro Jets and they come in as the runner-up. So that's how the history went last season. But here, it's a 1-0 hockey game. The Cooley Region Chill leading the St. Louis Junior Blues after one period. We'll have second period action coming up in a little bit here on the Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV. Yeah. 
to this moment and hope it don't be ready. Lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, you better lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, you better. This soul's escaping through this hole that is gaping. This world is mine for the taking. Disappear. I told her I'm not really looking for another mistake I called an old friend thinking that the trouble would wait But then I jumped right in a week later Returned, I reckon she was only looking for a lover to burn But I gave her my time for two or three nights Then I put it on pause until the moment was right I went away four months until I passed crossed again She told me I was never looking for a friend Maybe you could swing by my room around ten Baby, bring the lemon and a bottle of gin We'll be in between the sheets See her, we drink away the days with a takeaway pizza. Before a text message was the only way to reach her. Now she's staying at my place and loves the way I treat her. Singing out Aretha all over the track like a feature. And never wants to sleep, I guess that I don't want to either. But me and her, we make money the same way. Four cities, two planes the same day. And those shows have never been what it's about. But maybe we'll go together and just figure it out. I'd rather put on a film with you and sit on the couch. But we should get on a plane or we'll be missing it now. We should have written it down. She was kissing him how I was confused about And she should figure it out while I'm sat here singing She was crying on 
you Trust and respect is what we do this for I never intended to be next But you didn't need to take him to bed, that's all And I never saw him as a threat Until you disappeared with him to have sex, of course It's not like we were both on tour We were staying at the same hotel floor And I wasn't looking for a promise or commitment But it was never just fun and I thought you were different This is not the way you realized what you wanted It's a bit too much Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Come on. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah, hey. hey. coming live from the VIP. Heard the nightlife, I was like, what that mean? Most of the kids in the state want to see my knee. The whole city got pissed. All right, as you can see on Hockey TV, the chill taking the ice. St. Louis already on their bench and their starters for the second period <laughs> are out there and the employees from train company on the iceberg fan deck tonight what a group tell you what i wish they were on that iceberg fan deck for every home game because that just provides so much energy in this environment and i know these guys play off of it last time they were here was the same thing it's a great thing to have. Let's see if they can keep the energy. The Cooley Region Show will have 27 seconds left of power play time. They have the shot advantage of 23 to seven in the first period. If they can keep up that tempo, it's gonna be a darn good night. But a lot of hockey to be played. A one nothing lead as we head to the second period. And we are underway. As the puck sent into the chill end, that'll kill a little bit more time on the power play. Magnavite faked the give along the end. Well, the referee just took a tumble. He lost an edge there. Oh, boy, I hope he's all right. Half a mire, he's struggling as he heads back into the zone. Dumping by the chill. I, I hate to laugh, but it was, kind of, it was kind of a folly right there. Here comes St. Louis as they're going to kill off the chill power play again. Stick handling to the front of the net and a save by Yaki. Oh, what a move up ice. A St. Louis Junior Blues and slow to get up is Monreal. Man, is he a hockey player. What a move into the zone. One on one with Yaki, he split the defense and he wiped out into the boards afterwards. Nice save by Michael Yaki. So the draw will be down inside the chill end here at the near circle. And the referee over to the St. Louis bench. I don't know if he wanted to explain how he tumbled in the he's they're checking the ice right now because I think that's what he hit. So there must be a divot. As you can see, uh, Johnny Jones got the close up there. I wasn't calling you a divot, Johnny. Uh, but there might be a divot in the ice. Now, divots, you know, you expect them on golf courses, but you don't want to have them on ice where guys can trip over it. Or it's a phantom divot and the referee just wants to make it look good. <laughs> Could be. Maybe not. Off the draw, puck comes towards the end wall, picked up here by Lozen. Lozen delivered it to Escobar, a backhand dump into the neutral zone. Schultz hustling after it, able to disrupt the pass out. Now it's Kismatulin. Goodell to Schultz. Schultz at the right circle, drops it back right point. Here's Lozen. Lozen towards the net. Not sure if it caught the tip of the glove of Regan. Escobar using the physical play, but it's picked up here by Hofstetter. Takes it along the end boards in the St. Louis end. Left it there, and now it's Mozillo giving it a ride. Then another player falls down. That was Galaguzov. <laughs> he gets it into the neutral zone. Lozen tries to throw it back in. It'll be picked up here by Dangus. Dangus with a puck in the neutral zone, weaving left. Throws it on net from the neutral zone. Stick save made by Yankee. Now it's Lozen from the right circle. It was chased by Sargent. Look at Lozen taking it coast to coast. He'll go up the slot and forced off the puck there by Mozillo. Gets it back on his stick. Lozen, quick turnaround. Sent wide. Goes into the corner where it's picked up by Akervik. Aslan Akervik now. Tapped it down low, but it was stolen again by St. Louis, but then coughed up by Wilson. Akervik towards the front of the net. Found it who's looking for it, but it'll be covered up by Jack Regan, and the draw will stay down the St. Louis end. It shall continue 
with that attack zone time pressure. But just a one goal lead here in the second period, 18-16 to play. Off the draw. It's taken here by McLaughlin. Fed it back to Ackervik. Far point towards the net. Pad save made by Regan. And St. Louis will clear to the neutral zone, trying to take it up the left side. Here they come in the attack zone towards the net. Nice break up there by Judson McGrath, but he throws it out of play as he was trying to hit the glass. But it was the short glass, and he put it up and out. The NHL, it's a delay of game penalty, but not here in the NA3HL. They'll drop it at the far circle down the chill end. Stick side of Michael Yankee. Fondadoos going up against Sargent. And Fondadoos wins the faceoff. Sends it to the end wall, McLaughlin. McLaughlin along with McGrath, both defensemen tied up in the corner there, but they were able to get it up the left side. Not able to run with it though. Now it's picked up by Fondadoos, and he'll flip it down all the way into the netting in the far corner, and that's not going to bring the faceoff down there, of course, as it goes out of play. 17.41 left, second period. If the Chill can force a game three, it would be tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and we'd have all the action for you on both Hockey TV and CooleyRegionSportsNetwork.com, the YouTube audio. Kaplis with a puck. Tapped it up to Magnavite, but St. Louis will throw it in. Bouncing puck off the near corner. The race is on to the end wall. Kaplis, no, check that. This to Shepard. Avoids the check from Dante Jones. Battle behind the net as Yankee settles in at the near post. Now Weedhop from the far corner sends it back far point. Dropped right past his stick again and comes around to the end wall. Centering pass to Ratzloff. Up the center circle, drops it off the left wing wall. He'll get his own pass in the corner. Ratzloff playing his A game here tonight. He's had a good playoffs. Goal and four assists for five points leads the team. That should be icing here. As the puck will come back into the St. Louis zone with 16.50 to play. Brandon Ratzloff, Brady Lindauer, and Thomas Magnavite. They are playing the kind of hockey they played all season long. Uh, last night and in the first Peoria game, you didn't see them at their full throttle. In first period, you definitely saw them back. Lindauer hit more people in that period than I think I saw him hit all season. There's a stick save made by Regan. Zukowski in the corner. Now it's Lozen. Tapped it back to, to Shepard. Works it off the right wing wall, but the pressure's on. Centering pass. Nice job by Yankee to send it into the corner. That's Matt Yankee. Not the goaltender, Michael. Now Zukowski trying to get in the lane. No, a fake shot here. And looking for a snipe. It's thrown up over the crossbar by Mozillo. Picked up by the chill with numbers. Coming up the left side. Chris Drews will take it into the zone. He'll try to get around. Dangus threw it off the goaltender, and the save was made. And then a wipeout there for Matt Yankee. Nice hit along the end wall by Zukowski, and he can do that for you. The Black River Falls native. Oh, St. Louis and Mozillo in the neutral zone. Now knocked across the blue line. Look out. Here they come from the slot. The shot. Yucky with a save. He knocked it down and covered it up. Lesnock looking for something there. As he came in towards the net with Bifignani. And now you'll see that Papa is going to get on the ice here. And he'll work the right wing position off the draw. Bifignani, the centerman. Let's knock the left wing. Schultz settles in for the chill. And he wins the draw. Judson McGrath, nice pass from behind the net to McLaughlin. Chase sends it left wing for Schultz. Schultz covered by Papa. Sent back to McLaughlin towards the net with a screen set up in front, and Regan makes the save. Nice traffic in front to try to cause some havoc, but Regan able to make the stop. 15-26 left here in the second period. 1-0 Cooley Region Chill shots 27-10 CRC. Cole, next time your puck is in on our end of the ice, you got to get the uh, beer pyramid from the Iceberg Van Deck. 
enjoy the crew having fun tonight. Face off at the near circle though, down in the St. Louis end, the opposite end. Show in the draw back to Kaplis. Kaplis, the near circle, Schultz. Schultz towards the front of the net and just cleared away by the St. Louis defense. Just the Shepard almost kept it in, but it's gonna come all the way back down the chill end for icing. Right now, the Cooley region chill. The attack zone time has been magnificent. Shots on goal, 27 to 10. But it takes just one goal for St. Louis to tie this hockey game up with even as well as how the Chill have played here. Face off, Fonda Deuce. Two guys go down right afterwards. Puck pops down to Fonda Deuce. Dabrowski tries to come in to take the puck away, but it's set back to Gista Shepper. Now down to Fonda Deuce, trying to work it along the end wall, coming towards the near side. Fonda Deuce looks up ice, banks it back to Kaplis, sent back to Fonda Deuce. Now Akrovic picks it up. This line's getting lots of ice time, very physical. That's going to be sent towards the front of the net, and St. Louis able to poke it loose. Now look out. There come back the other way. Right wing. Trying to get around Kaplis with a nice defensive stick play as he got the puck back towards the St. Louis blue line. Chill hustling all over the ice. Puck sent in, and they're finishing checks too. Fonda Deuce with a nice one there. Popped up to Akrovic. Pressured there by Galaguzov. And it'll be chipped towards center. St. Louis keeps it in. Look out. Galaguzov. Oh, he was looking for the one-timer in front. Lotus got tripped up and couldn't get a good shot. Lotus on his stick, sends it back near point. Chill hitting everybody towards the front of the net. It was Galaguzov trying to set the screen. Here again is Wilson. Feeds it back, far point, slung near point. One time or the shot, Yaki makes the save off the stick of Dangus. Good setup by St. Louis. Yaki watching the puck well. 14.07 to play second period. Cooley Region Chill with a one goal lead off the stick of Brandon Ratzloff, his first of the playoffs, to go along with his four assists. Magnemite and Lindauer with the assist on that one. Ratzloff got his stick on the puck, sent it to the end wall. Now it's Lozen out of the near corner of the chill zone, throws it off the glass left wing. Bouncing puck comes up a little too far for Magnemite. Lozen again, just behind his blue line. Sends it right side to the Shepard and a D to D pass. Nice stretch. Here's Lindauer. Oh, he did not have his left winger with him. Oh, Ratzloff tries to get to that puck and he's pinned up against the boards. Mazzillo digs it loose and takes it back behind his net. Stops and settles behind his goaltender. Comes out far side. Whiffed on his pass attempt and he could pay the price from Ratzloff. And he gets it back on his stick. And the chill able to keep that puck in at the right point. Nice work. Is there space now here for Ratzloff? He'll go one-handed and try to peel off a check, and now he's tied up in the corner. Four players going for it. Lozen pinches to keep it in. Tries to cut off the wall. Here's Lozen towards the net, one-handed towards the front. And it was steered away in front of the net by Jack Moore. She'll continue to force it, but now they'll have to regroup here as it's dumped in by Lozen. Plenty of space for Dangus. Dangus will throw it all the way into the chill end. And it'll be an icing as to Shepard had Lotus beat to the puck. Cooley region chill, keeping that puck in the attack zone. And that's what you like to see when you have a 1-0 lead. Last night they scored the first goal and gave up three quick ones right afterwards. And almost came back. It was 3-2 off Escobar's goal, but it all fell apart after that. 6-2 final last night. Face off at the far circle down the St. Louis zone. Chill win the draw again. Zukowski throws it in back behind the net. Rings around the boards to the near wall where Judson McGrath steers it back behind the net. Zach Wilson sent it off to the near side. And then it was dumped all the way back into the chill end where McLaughlin tries to evade a forecheck from Moore. Judson McGrath can't clear the zone. He'll get a second chance here as it's on his stick. Takes his time. This time it gets it up to Drew. It's a little too far. The race is on with Zukowski and Bocardi, and they'll collide with each other along the end boards. Puck squirts to the near corner. Now oh, it's a grinders game down the near corner with 12-12 and counting here in the second period. Junior Blues centering pass on the tape. Here they come, racing up center. Shoveled by Monreal, off the right wing wall, back towards Monreal in the pass. Doesn't get there, great coverage by Drews. Now it's Matt Yankee. Yankee dangles in across the blue line. The shot goes off the goaltender. And the rebound, not able to be picked up. St. Louis will try to work it along the far boards. And Chill had it for a brief moment. Now it's picked up by Dante Jones. He overskates the puck, and now he gets pinned up against the wall by Justa Shepard. 
Here's Monreal trying to knock it down. Look at the kind. Look, that is just great hand coordination as Mon. Real was able to knock that puck down and keep going. And he runs into the chill defense. Dante Jones picks it up. And it's Kaplis who bounces it off the left wing wall. And it's Escobar. Escobar up left wing. One defender to beat. And he'll hold on to it for a bit and send it cross ice. Lozen with a shot. That goes wide. Comes off the end wall. Escobar chips it in with a backhand. Bouncing puck behind the net. Chill. Centering. And that puck bounced up. It was a little high and almost a high stick for the chill. But... Now St. Louis knocks it to the center circle. And it's Monreal. He'll bounce it in with a backhand, get off for a line change into the chill zone. Shepard tries to get position on the puck. And a big hit there as the Shepard and Lesnok shuttling it. Yankee with another great save. Traffic in front, and the referee blows the whistle, stopping play with 10.49 left. Yankee's been sharp here. Almost halfway through the second period. And the draw will be at the far circle down inside the chill end. Schultz, Escobar. Working with Goodell, Kismetulin, and DeShepper and Lozen. Loose puck picked up by Schultz. Splits one defender. Now he'll go on the side of the net. I'm not sure if it caught a piece of the goaltender Regan or not. As Lozen drops it right back towards the net again. St. Louis trying to work it up the right side. They will in the neutral zone. Across the line they come. Great job by Lozen to break up the play. Took it away from Papa. Lozen chasing into the end wall. Throws the body there. Kiss Matulin back behind the net. Now it's work back to Lozen. He'll pinch to keep it in along the near boards. But St. Louis will get a stick on it. And bank it off the left wing wall and all the way down. Line change for St. Louis to Shepard. Worked at left side Lozen. Bank pass too far for Fondadus. Now Dabrowski up to Fondadus. Back on defense is Hofstetter. Hofstetter took a shove in the shoulder from Dabrowski. Back to claim the puck for the chill in the near corner is Lozen. Lozen uses the end wall off the far corner. St. Louis gets their first shot on net stick save made by Ma Michael Yankee. Now behind the net, Yankee peers over the right shoulder. Grinders game here behind the net. Hofstetter got tripped up and then Sargent went tumbling down. Here's Dabrowski up the right wing into the attack zone. Dabrowski throws it up high. And it might have caught the shoulder of the goaltender, but not sure on that one as it rode into the near corner board. Sargent picks it up here for St. Louis. Bounces it into the neutral zone with a backhand. She'll have to get back. And one-handed, Jesus uh, Shepard disrupted a possible chance for St. Louis. Here again, St. Louis. The Mozilla with a wind-up and a hammer shot off the glass. Was a bit high. Here's Magnavite with a chance up left wing. Defense gets back for St. Louis. Mags, he'll put that one up high. And it goes up and out of play with 8.43. Left in the second period. Chill up, 1-0. Shots are 30-13 to 13 in favor of the CRC. Teams get a breather. I get a breather. Again, our thanks to both cameramen. Cole Richter at center ice. Johnny Jones working the switcher. And our view behind Michael Yankee. Off the draw to the end wall. St. Louis trying to work it out from behind the net. Pressure on the forecheck from Magnavite. And again, the chill. Trying to force it towards the front of the net. St. Louis with a soft pass and almost turned it over again. They kind of look a little bit like the chill did last night in terms of turnovers in the defensive zone. Here's to Shepard. St. Louis, look out, two on one, up the left wing from the far circle, shot a glove save by Yaki. Off the stick of Lotus, trying to snipe near post. And then DeShepper got a face wash after the whistle from Moore. And Arago escorts him off towards his bench. Yaki with a great glove snap. Face off of the far circle down inside the Cooley region end. 
Connor Lozen with a nice dish up left wing to Magnavite. And the Lindauer cuts off the wall, tripped up, and no whistle. I think that might have been a penalty. Look out, Dante Jones trying to beat the Sheffer. Lose it, will put it right back in the neutral zone. Thrown in by St. Louis. Comes behind the net. Michael Yankee slowed it down for Lozen. That was hit by Monreal's stick and almost comes to Magnavite the other direction over near the St. Louis blue line, but a whistle. And I think a two line. 7.42 left here in the second period. Chill going to get a change. Shepper heading back towards the bench. Lindauer heading back. Magnavite heading back. Face off. I believe going to come into the chill zone. Let's see here, though. No. Center circle. Officials over talking to both benches. No, it's going to come back into the St. Louis zone. I guess I'm a little confused on why, but we'll take it. Off the draw, St. Louis picks up the puck, up right wing. Nice poke check by the chill, picked up by Monreal for a brief moment, into the neutral zone and sent towards the net, glove saved by Yankee, and he'll drop it off to Judson McGrath, bottom of the chill near circle. He worked it up left wing to Kiss Matulin. Sends a soft one towards the net, wide right. Poked by the big paddle of Regan. And it comes to the near boards. Chill still with a puck in the attack zone. McGrath sent it down, rings all the way around. Schultz sends it behind the net. Kiss Matulin. Goodell. He lost it. And now it's Faulkner. Faulkner banks it off the glass left wing side. Bouncing puck center circle picked up by McLaughlin. He left it for Schultz. Schultz left wing to kiss Matulin and he had it poke checked away. Chill in the neutral zone. Here's Escobar. Sends it right wing. Looking for it back but the Blues break it up. McLaughlin gets tripped up as a couple of sticks got down low. No call. McLaughlin forced back and then Kaplis. To Kiss Matula, lots of space up left wing, trying to catch St. Louis on a change. The dangling Kiss Matulin didn't get much on that shot. Dangus picks it up here for St. Louis. Off the right wing wall into the neutral zone now. The Junior Blues have that pass disrupted. Great job to get in the lanes and a collision there as Dabrowski goes down with Sargent. Here's a chance for Akervik. Backhand shot off the iron. Oh, so close to making it a 2 0 hockey game. Dangus worked it to Sargent. Now in the neutral zone, thrown past Kaplis, but then he reaches back and makes a nice play to center. Sam Dabrowski peels back behind the blue line. Drops it back to the near circle, Kaplis. 5.55, left second period, chill up 1-0. Shots are 30-15, to CRC. Sent on in by Gista Shepper. Played by Regan, and then he left it there for his defense. They try to clear up the near boards, and it'll be picked up there by Hofstetter. Bounces it into the neutral zone. Gista Shepper sends it right back in. Akervik will chase along with Dangus to the end wall. Akervik pinning the puck up against the board. Squirts loose here. Sent back to Lozen. Near point. Slings it along the blue line to the Shepard. Towards the net. And a bouncing puck in the slot. Oh, shot just wide. Big opportunity there for Dabrowski. Now Lozen went tumbling down the near corner. Puck battle there. Along the end wall near side. Finally a whistle as a St. Louis skater down to their knees with 5.16 left in the second period. And the chill with a one to nothing lead. Scored 7-22 in, no scoring since. Both teams making some changes. I don't think I've heard our public address announcer talk since the beginning of the game. <laughs> Brian Simpson at a concert for his Regular job tonight over at the lacrosse center, so not here, and we got a substitute. Here's the chill trying to work it from behind the net. Bouncing puck near doorstep, and they can't get the puck on stick. And now St. Louis, cross ice, dump in attempt, and a nice work there by DeShepard to bounce it in the neutral zone. Sent in by St. Louis. Lowe's and takes it off the end wall. Cuts towards the slot. Stretch pass right wing to Lindauer. Lindauer right to Ratzloff off the wall and a delayed offsides call. Oh my. That's tough. 
That might have been Ratzloff going for number two right there. Great touch pass off the wall, I thought, by Lindauer. But, again, I can't really tell from this angle whether it was or wasn't. But it doesn't matter what I think. Face off far dot. She'll win the draw. To Shepard. To Lozen. He'll take it in left wing. Lozen tries to get her around. Faulkner put it on the right wing and not able to connect there with Lindauer. Now Lozen again. Sends it off left wing. Magnavite towards the net. Save made there by Regan and Ratzloff not able to get there in time for the rebound. Puck is in the near corner of the St. Louis zone. They'll finally work it up the right side in the neutral zone. Chip pass and a fetch. Look out. Opportunity from the near circle. There's a put towards the front. They score. Dante Jones receives the pass on the far doorstep and just put it in between the arm of Michael Yaki, and we're all tied up 1-1. See, all it takes is one, 4-14. Left here in the second period, and we're all tied up. 31 to 16, the shots, but it just takes one. Big goal for Dante Jones. That's his second goal of the playoffs, fourth point. And Junior Blues goal scored by number 18, Dante Jones. Puck sent into the chill zone. Back is just to Shepard. To Shepard, to Kaplis. Now a cross ice dish to Kiss Matulin. He'll try to get around the defense, but it did not work. Chill try to keep it in is Escobar. Now to the slot. The backhand shot was blocked by St. Louis. They have possession now. 1 1 hockey game. Here come the Junior Blues and Monreal. Monreal will dangle behind the net. Now he tries to cut back near side. Hit by Justa Shepard. And then Dante Jones crumples Schultz in the corner. And then Schultz whacks at Monreal. And Schultz is going to go to the box, maybe. Let's see. Monreal is going to go two, I think. Schultz did a slash after Monreal did. A taunting penalty, that's what he's gonna get. And I think we're gonna be four on four here. We'll see how they sort it all out. Big hit in the corner and Schultz didn't like it and then he whacked Monreal with his stick. So we'll see. Right now the scoreboard doesn't have either one up. Now it has Monreal up for St. Louis. We saw Schultz go to the box, too. They're going to put that one up here in a second. They should, I would think. Unless it's a double minor for Monreal. No, there it is. So four skaters aside with the faceoff down the St. Louis zone. At the far circle. And sent along the end wall, St. Louis. And Faulkner. To Urisic, back to... The near side, and the cross ice pass is tipped off the stick of Sargent. He'll throw it to the near circle, and it bounced out of the near corner. Lindauer picks up the loose puck right wing, a little too far for Magnavite, but he's going to get to that puck, and he blows a tire back behind the net. Now St. Louis with a puck, four on four, a little more ice space. Lindauer poked that puck loose, and he'll get hit in the neutral zone. Chance up the slot. Dangling with a stick with Sargent. One-timer, they score. Oh, a perfect pass. Sargent to Kala Kuzov, and he gets his fifth goal of the playoffs, and it's a huge one, and St. Louis storms back and has a two-to-one lead. Beautiful play. Sargent and Galaguzov, 2.46 left in the second period. And the St. Louis fans rejoice. She'll get an answer. Fondadu's out there at center. St. Louis with the puck now. Backhand dump in off the end wall. In the corner now, just the Shepard trying to get it loose. Work back towards the blue line, held in by Dangus. Dang is covered by Dabrowski. Dante Jones lets it go down low. Dante picks it up now from the near corner. He's got one of the two. Po 
broke loose by Fondadeus. Oh, I thought he came outside the zone, but he gets it to Weedhop. Weedhop now hassled by Kaplis. And again, it looked like it went out, but did not. And it's just a Shepard who picks it up. Up the left side with Fondadeus. Fondadeus in across the blue line. Flava Flav to the slot. Dabrowski, a ripper. And the save is made by Regan. Back the other way comes St. Louis. Now with a 2-1 lead. There's a shot on net. Yaki makes the save. Here's Lozen. Lozen up the left wing, cutting to center. Connor Lozen into the attack zone, coast to coast. Peels away from Urisic. Drops it back to Shepper. Now near circle, Dabrowski with a shot. And the save is made by Regan. Nine seconds left on the four on four. 138 left in the second period. 2-1 St. Louis. Two goals here in the second. Dante Jones second of the playoffs from Matt Monreal, his first assist. And then Ivan Galaguzov with his fifth of the playoffs from Nathan Sargent, his fourth assist. Off the draw, claimed by Faulkner to Urisic. Right wing now into the neutral zone. Dump in by Lotus. Two skaters get tangled up. Wilson and Lozen, and it's picked up by Tune to Shepard. Bank pass, Kiss Matulin. Here's Schultz off the left wing wall from the near circle. He shot it wide. Now to Shepard. Near point. Sent down low by Lozen. Behind the net to the front. Oh, can't get a clean shot. St. Louis will dump that along the right wing wall and chase. Now for the near circle. Stopping there was Moore. Had his pass stolen. Kiss Matulin. He'll be chased by Moore and poke checked as he tried to come across the blue line. Work back to the Shepper. 50 seconds to play here, second period. Lozen, right wing, bouncing puck. Here's Escobar. He drops it off. Kiss with Tulin towards the front and a chill skater taken down in front. Where's the call? St. Louis and Lotus in left wing. Lotus from the top of the right circle off a skater and wide of the net. Behind the net, that was Dangus. He got tripped up by just a Shepard, and they shoot and score. Opening in the slot, and Hofstetter makes it 3-1. 20 seconds left in the third period. Nobody had him covered in the slot. He was all by himself. It's a rough crowd of the train people. Where do they all go? <laughs> do they run out of beer or what? <laughs> you can't quit, it's three to one. All right, here's Ratzloff, sent it off to Lindauer. Thrown in by Lozen. Rings around, St. Louis will clear. That should be an icing. No, gonna be played by Yaki. Yaki. Send it up to Magnavite. That's going to do it for the second period. Boy, show we're playing rock solid, but three quick goals, much like it was in the first period. Last night, it's almost a duplicate of how it went. And now that she'll have to come from behind the third period facing the brink of elimination. Back with your second intermission coming up next here on the Cooley Region Sports Network. Today we're opening more than 150,000 locations called Domino's Hotspots. Like beaches, roadside attractions, and dog parks. And you can finally have Domino's delivered to every single one of them. No address, no problem. Find a Domino's Hotspot near you. Excuse me. You get two medium, two topping pizzas delivered for $5.99 each. Get the pizza you love delivered to a Domino's hotspot near you or any of the other outdoor locations now open for Domino's delivery. Do you earn 2.65 annual percentage yield on your checking account balance? If you had a Cooley Bank Kasasa Cash checking account, you would. Your free Kasasa Cash checking account includes free MasterCard debit card, free online banking, bill pay, e-statements, Cooley Bank mobile app, and ATM fee rebates. Earn 2.65 APY on your free Kasasa Cash checking account. Cooley Bank, member FDIC. Qualifications, rules, and limitations apply. Rates, rewards, and restrictions may vary by account. See CooleyBank.net for more information. 
Waste Management of Wisconsin is your local choice for all of your collection and disposal needs. From collection and recycling to state-of-the-art landfill operations, at Waste Management, Think Green is a way of life. It means commitment to customer satisfaction and long-term relationships. It means cleaner, safer communities. And it means you receive high-quality service second to none. Their goal is to be the single source for all of your collection and disposal needs. Sign up today and see why more people choose Waste Management than any other. Contact Dean Lounsbro, D-L-O-U-N-S-B-R at WM.com, 608-518-1720. Every Plumbing and Heating is a full-service company that has been family-owned and operated since 1969. That's three generations of Every's in the plumbing business. Every Plumbing and Heating consistently provides reliable and quality workmanship and the best service at a fair price. Every gets it right the first time. Every Plumbing and Heating is a proud supporter of Onalaska Hilltoppers Athletics. Give them a call when you need it done right. 608-783-2803 or visit them online at everyplumbing.com. Ebner Properties of La Crosse is a proud supporter of hockey in the Cooley region and the great state of Wisconsin. Whether it's at the youth, high school, AAA, elite, junior, or college level, furthering the growth of hockey is the mission. Ebner Properties would like to wish all of our area teams at all levels the very best this season. Remember, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Quote from the great one, Wayne Gretzky. Cooley Golf Bowl is the number one recreation facility in Onalaska, but it's also a perfect place to watch the big game or stop in after a hard day's work to unwind with great food and drinks. Cooley Golf Bowl has you covered with an extensive menu, including great choices from apps to entrees and mouth-watering daily specials like burgers, tacos, prime rib, tenderloin tips, shrimp, fish, and roasted chicken are just a few of the daily specials. Cooley Golf Bowl Sports Bar and Grill. Visit them online at CooleyGB.com and sign up for their e club to get special offers and promotions. The St. Louis Junior Blues turning up the volume in the second period. Get three past Michael Yaki and take a three to one lead. On the Cooley Region Chill, who are facing elimination. Dante Jones, 15-47 in. This was all late in the second period. His second of the playoffs. Matt Monreal with the assist. 17-15 in. Ivan Galaguzov's fifth of the playoffs. Nathan Sargent with the assist. And then Sean Hofstetter, the recipient of a bouncing puck right in front of the net. Point blank range. Buries it past Yankee. The assist, Hunter Mazzillo with just... What, 20 seconds left in the period, and that's how things closed out. Boy, it was just one after another after the chill had done so well almost all the way through two periods. But it is what it is, and they'll have to really dig deep here in the third, trailing a very tough St. Louis Junior Blues team by two goals. Taking a quick look at other scores in playoff action, there is a couple going on as... Alexandria looks like they're going to be eliminated. They still have a period to play, but 4-0 North Iowa leading the blizzard. And then it's uh, a final. Binghamton will punch their ticket to Woodridge. This is there up 6-1, and I think that is an unofficial final, but looks like they're going to be headed. Texas already punched their ticket earlier today. And, of course, L.A. did as well, the Nordiques. Great Falls trails Helena at Helena, two to nothing. That's late in the first period. That's the other playoff game. So obviously the mood has settled down quite a bit after the Chill gave up three unanswered goals. We'll have third period action coming up in just a little bit here on the Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV.
Let's hope that's a little bit of motivation for the boys here as we head to the third period. 
The Iceberg Fan Deck and Train Company comes back alive here to try to cheer the boys on to make a comeback here against the St. Louis Junior Blues who have a three to one lead. After two periods of play at Green Island Ice Arena, this is win or you're done for the Cooley Region Shell. And a great season it's been. But the reality is one period here could send them home for the season. I mean, they're home, but you know what I mean. That means end of junior hockey for quite a few of these young men, and we don't want that, do we? Come on, Cooley Region Chill. Let's force a game three tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. Got to believe. So the fan deck is trying to get Jack Regan's attention, and I'm sure he prefers not to look. <laughs> and the chant is started. He gives up one, and you know the Sid's going to come out. Let's see if we can make it a reality. Here we go. Underway, third period. Cooley Region Chill dumped the puck in. Both teams full strength to start the period. Nice hit by Magnavite on Mozillo. Centering pass to Dante Jones. Jones on net, save is made. Draw stays down inside the Cooley region, chill end. They'll drop it to the near circle. And controlled by the chill, Lozen. Knocked ahead there by Magnavite. Mozilla got a stick on it. Now it's Monreal with a backhand pass to Urisic. Up ahead, chill, get it in the neutral zone. That's going to go off Magnavite's stick and out of play. And it's a stoppage. And the faceoff will be at the far dot outside the St. Louis blue line. Linesman Young set to drop the puck. Both teams getting a change. Sergeant Fondadeus. Fondadeus wins the faceoff. Back to tune to Shepard. Bounces in off the near corner. Puck comes along the end wall far side. Tap by the stick of Akervik. Held in by the chill. Lozen towards the net. Sticked away by Regan. Now oh, Dabrowski tied up by Dangus. Akervik along the end wall. Putting it in front. Oh, Fondadeus couldn't get a shot as he was hassled from behind. And a rolling puck goes all the way down the chill end. They'll get back to it first. Tune to Shepard. The near corner, and now here comes Lozen. Quickly up ice, he'll try to get around the fence. Hip check, and he takes two players out as Dabrowski went down. Sargent picks it up. Up center, weaving right, waiting for a line change. That set it to Lotus, but the chill will drop it in, softly cross the blue line. Bocardi, circle to circle, past Mozillo. Trailed by Magnavite, dumped in by the Junior Blues. Wilson chases back behind the net. Now from the far corner. There's Kaplis playing as physical as you can, but not cleared. Held in by St. Louis, banked off the left wing wall. Chill bounce it ahead too far, and dumped back in by St. Louis. Kaplis will pick up the puck. Wilson on his back to Bacardi at the far point. He drops it off to Lotus. Lotus on net, saved by Yankee. Wilson fed back. Mozillo down low. Wilson uses the end wall. Pinching there was Bacardi. She'll pick it up behind their net. Bounces it up to Lindauer. That's going to be intercepted in the high slot by Lotus. Ahead to Wilson. Wilson throws it towards the net. Bounces off the near boards. Lozen picks it up for the chill. Chill down, three to one, third period. Here's Ratzloff in left wing. Gets around Faulkner towards the front. Oh, what a save by Regan. What a great move by Brandon Ratzloff. I mean, he stopped on his edge right in front of the net, which is not an easy thing to do when you're coming in at that kind of speed. But Regan able to hold the far post. Shots 34-22 in favor of the Cooley Region Shell, but 3-1 on the scoreboard, St. Louis, three unanswered. Lozen to DeShepper. DeShepper peels back behind the near circle. 
And bounces it up to Escobar. Escobar in the attack zone, covered by Urisic. Hip checked and taken away by the talented defenseman. Up to Monreal. Bumped there by Kismetulin. Picked up by Schultz, came off his stick to the near boards. He drills it down and takes a hit in the process. Escobar chasing the puck out of the corner. Escobar feeds the point and hops over the stick up to Shepard. Now lows it into Shepard, play catch. Center circle, Schultz. Schultz dumps it in off the far corner line, change for the chill. Mazzillo, near circle, sent it up left wing. Dumped on in by Moore. Hofstetter goes for it in the corner. Now the chill. Up center, Dabrowski, weaving right. Soft dump in, Fondadouz gets position on the puck, great work. Now Fondadouz. Tangled up by Dangus to the front, and Akrovic can't get a clean shot. Akrovic does a good job to get position on the puck. Now Dabrowski comes in. Dabrowski pinned by Mazzillo. Akrovic comes in to try to help. Sargent also in the mix. Sargent kicks it ahead, and it'll be dumped in all the way by St. Louis for an icing. Four minutes into period number three. 3-1 St. Louis. Sargent will settle in for the faceoff along with Brandon Ratzloff. Show in the draw. McLaughlin's pass soft. He gets it back and throws it right at Magnavite. And she'll have to get it back on sides on anyway. Left wing. Here's the lineup by Galaguzov. And the kick save made by Yankee to Judson McGrath. Backhand. Drop into the center circle. Picked up there and sent ahead by Bacardi. She'll pass it out in front of their own net. Here's Lindauer with a stretch, trying to get a cutting Magnemite. Mags gets hit up into the end wall there. Behind the net, Ratzloff sent it to the corner. Magnemite goes up high, almost could get called for an elbow. You gotta be careful. Magnemite centering pass. Loose in the slot, picked up here by St. Louis. Zach Wilson. He battles with Ratzloff. And then Urisic dumps it in for St. Louis. They'll get a change. Lozen, stretch up to Lindauer. Oh, it came off his stick. Here's Wilson. Sent back behind the chill net. Chill with the puck. Down by two, 14.45 left, third period. Ahead to Fondadouz, in left wing, covered by Faulkner. Oh, he dropped it back to Lozen. Lozen off the wall towards the slot. Lozen lost it for a brief moment. Banks it into Dabrowski off the right wing wall. He lost control of the puck, and Dante Jones gets it into the neutral zone. All the way back along the near boards, Lozen gets taken into the wall. Now to Shepper, slides it along the end wall to Fondadouz. Fondadouz from the far circle, bounced it past the linesman, then Faulkner to the chill blue line, picked up by Lozen again. Up center he comes, Lozen looking for a lane, and he shot it wide. And it's picked up by Monrail. Puck battle along the St. Louis bench, drop back to Mazzillo, looks up ice, sends it high off the glass, up the left side, too far for Galaguza. Chill will dump it in, off the near corner. Schultz tries to get to it, but it'll be St. Louis getting to it first. Oh, there's a trip by Sargent. Where's the call? Oh, my, right in front of everybody. Buck battle in the far corner. Escobar trying to make something happen. And it's going to be cleared by St. Louis, and Sargent was after it. It's Hofstetter off the left wing wall. Hofstetter's shot was disrupted. Kiss Matulin picks it up. Put it past Sargent. Up to Escobar. Escobar feeds it. Left wing, there's a shot, the save is made. Kiss Matulin threw that one up high and Regan measured it nicely. 13-14 remains here in the third period. She'll need two to tie this hockey game. Cannot give another one up. Trail by three. You can turn out the lights. Numbers bode well for St. Louis. Win leading in the third. Puck of the center circle. Drop back, Lozen logging a ton of ice time. 
Lindauer gets hit at the center circle. Taken across the line by Magnavite, trying to get around Faulkner. Faulkner held onto him, centering pass. A shot to save by Regan. Oh, the rebound. And Ratzloff not able to get to it. There's a screen set up in front. Just wide of the net. Ratzloff now in the far corner. Chill starting to buzz a bit. Battle behind the net. Loose puck picked up by Wilson to Lotus. Held in by DeShepper. Knocked back into the corner. Magnavite behind the net. He was going to take it in the side of the pass. And out and diving on top of it was Regan as Lindauer came in from the far post. But they cover it up and get the draw. 12-29 left here in the third period. The Cooley Regent Shell trying every trick in the book to get back in this hockey game. Down by two. Bond the news out for the draw with Wheathop. Dabrowski tries kicking at it. Akrovic picks up the loose biscuit. Akrovic sent it along the end wall. Dabrowski back to the near point to Shepard. Top of the near circle to Shepard. Stick handles in, and then it goes off a stick and out of play. I'm glad to Shepard decided to take that shot. He has not been taking very many shots, and he has a good shot. Bob the Deuce again settles in for the draw. Bouncing puck comes towards the net. Dabrowski chopped at it. Now at the near wall, look out. It's Wade hopped, and he dropped it back to Monreal, who sends it into the zone. Chill, D to D pass, Lozen. Covered by Dante Jones. Now up to Fondadu's right wing wall into the attack zone. He comes and his shot was deflected and out of play as well. And I think it not, they knocked over their beer pyramid. The beer can pyramid <laughs> just took a tumble down there on the iceberg fan deck. I think this group can make another one. Face off of the near circle. Matt Yonke tried to feed it back to the point, but St. Louis able to get control, send it around the end wall. Bacardi avoids the hit from Zukowski, but Zukowski tried to walk off the left wing wall. Drew sent it down to the end wall. Picked up here by Juricic, took a hit from Zukowski, and he's gonna get called. a power play for St. Louis and we got a St. Louis skater down. The team is all gathered around and it might be a five minute, no it's a two minute for Zukowski. And slow to get up is Juricic but he is to his feet. The fans give him a hand. like Urisic should be okay, but he's gonna get back to the bench and they'll take a look at him a little bit further. St. Louis traveling with their own trainer. Eleven thirty-one to play here, third period. 3-1 in favor of St. Louis and now they are on the power play. 0 for four. Penalty. Two for 15 in the playoffs. St. Louis with the puck. Faulkner trying to get around the chill defense. Here's an opportunity on the trailer. Oh, he just sent it cross ice and the shot was wide as St. Louis tried to set up what could be the dagger. Faulkner down end wall. Dante Jones left it back. Faulkner uses the end wall again to Jones. Jones covered by Kaplis. Lotus reaches in. Now towards the net, and that one went wide as well, I do believe, unless that was covered up by Yankee. Whistle stops play. Net was maybe knocked off. Yeah, they're going to settle it back on near post. 122 left on the penalty to Brock Zukowski checking from behind. 10.53 remains here in the third period. 3-1 St. Louis. 
They move the faceoff over to the far circle. Down the chill end. And off the draw, she'll pick it up. Just as Shepard sent it up into the neutral zone. Hofstetter and Magnavite both went for it. Bouncing puck towards the net. Trouble for Regan. It almost went in under the crossbar. Missed by two inches. Oh, would that have been laughable. Here's Mozillo, right wing Monreal. Monreal takes it around Lozen behind the net to Hofstetter. Trouble there, chance for the chill. Up they come, Fondanews. He went off target with his snapshot. And now it's Moore with a puck to Mozillo. Check that, that was Galaguzov, 38. Here's Mozillo, the puck at the center circle, weaving right around one, then around Lozen. Mozillo behind the net. Now the puck in the corner. More than halfway through the third period. 20 seconds left on the power play here for St. Louis. Still trying to work it out from behind the net. She'll break it up and it uh, looks like we got something down in the zone. St. Louis gonna get a change. 13 seconds remain, they're gonna set the net back on. That was the reason for the whistle. Face off at the near circle. And the draw is won by St. Louis. Dangus with the puck, left point to right point. There's a shot that was deflected in front and out of play. Six ticks left on the man advantage for St. Louis. And the draw gonna come outside the chill zone. That's good news. Wheat Hop will settle up to the dot. Schultz for the chill. And the chill won the draw. Good job by Schultz. Thrown in by Lawson. Chill back to full strength. Here's the puck on Escobar. Sticky. Put that one on net. Blocker save made by Reagan. To the near boards. Pinching is Lawson. Hep the puck in the first time, but not the second time. Flip dump back towards the chill end. McLaughlin has guys draped all over him. Chill have a chance, a turnover. Here's Schultz. Schultz high slot, dropped it to Escobar near circle to the front of the net. And Regan was able to see the puck. His defense picked it up as Papa comes up the right side. Poked there by McGrath, dropped in by Papa. Picked up here by McLaughlin. 8.52 left. Chill need to get one in the net here. That's worked off to the left wing towards the slot, and Escobar not able to get a shot as Juricic took it away. Wilson works it around the fence. Here comes St. Louis. They'll put it towards the net wide left. Now the chill pick it up. Up right wing. Escobar has the puck. He'll drop it off. Bouncing puck. Kiss Matulin trying to track it down, but Mazzillo bounces it. Not out. There's a shot on net. Just grazed the stick of Regan. Ratzloff tapped it there. Now Lindauer, or check that. Kiss Matulin trying to get that puck off the wall, and he'll get off for a change. Work back here's just to Shepard. Stick save made by Regan. And it'll be Dangus who throws it out of the zone. Look out, Lotus coming after it. Kaplis back on defense. Lotus the shot, batted away there by Yankee. Under eight minutes to play here in the third period. St. Louis tries to center. They're not going to get that one, though, and here comes a chill. Thomas Magnavite in the cross. He tries to stick handle up the slot and poked at the very last second. Good coverage by Faulkner. Here again along the end wall. Sargent trying to work it off the boards. Got it there to Lotus. Lotus chopped it ahead, gets it on the stick of Moore. Now it's the chill turnover in front. Down was Yankee, but he was able to get a piece of it as it bounces into the far corner. Hofstetter pinned up against the glass there by Ratzloff. Lozen's down, trying to get back up. St. Louis, they're all right with working the puck along the boards and killing time. That hops past the stick, but then holding as Magnavite was trying to get to that puck. You can't do that. That's interference. But no call. Here's Lindauer. 
At the near circle, shot was blocked out in front. Regan holds the line, he's on his belly, and the chill can't get a second one. Here's Lozen. Lozen cutting behind the net, dangles to the near side. Nice stick blocked there by Urisic. Bottom of the near circle, Lindauer in the corner there with Fondadeus. Lindauer feeds the near point, back to Lindauer here just outside of the near circle. Shot in the glove, save made by Regan. And the St. Louis bench erupts as their goaltender comes up large. 6.43 remains here in the third period. The Cooley Region Chill facing elimination down 3-1. to one. Face off of the near circle. Fondadu settles in. Tie up on the draw. Loose puck bottom of the near circle. Bacardi didn't pick it up. Now Dabrowski couldn't control it for long. And Weedhop tapped it to Monreal. Stolen by Dabrowski at the center circle. Sam one-handed, shovels it into the far corner. He'll chase his own puck, avoids the hit from Weedhop, sends it back to Judson McGrath. High slot, shot screen, tip just wide on the deflect by Fondadouz. Here's Akrovic now. Andervik, Akrovic sends it down back behind the net. Trying to track it down is Fondadouz. Mozillo to the far corner, bounces it up the glass and into the St. Louis bench for a stoppage with 6.07 left. Shots are 40 to 28 in favor of the Cooley Region Chill. But on the scoreboard is where it really matters. And it's a 3-1 St. Louis lead. Shots are 11 to 8, though, in favor of St. Louis here in this period. Puck comes to the fireboards over his Schultz, but he can't control it. And here's Wilson up the right wing. Wilson covered nicely there by Kaplis. Puck creeps to the end wall. Just to Shepard to Kismetulin. Kismetulin tried to feed center, and Escobar couldn't run with it. Now just to Shepard will chase that puck to the end boards. More after him. Worked up to Kismetulin. He's got it. Left wing to right wing. Escobar across the line. Marco Escobar's pass knocked down by Dengas. Escobar takes it behind the net. He'll surely get some pressure there as he loses it. Wilson gets up to Lotus. Lotus right wing neutral zone. He'll softly dump it on net. And Yankee makes the easy stick save. Line change for St. Louis. Escobar still out there with Kismetulin and Ratzloff now as they're going to finish a change here. Just as Shepard gets off for a defensive change. Ratzloff in on the four check. That'll be Urisic, left wing up to Galaguzov, who knocked it across the chill blue line. Galaguzov's been with this team multiple years, and he's having a great playoffs again. Here's Magnavite. Sends it across ice to Lindauer, pinned up against the boards. Urisic comes in to help. Now it's dug out by Lindauer. To the front of the net. Shot and a save by Regan, a one-timer in front. Not a lot of space for Magnavite, but Regan had the near post pin. Four fifty remains. Ratchloff will go for the draw. He's been really good on faceoffs. Dante Jones settles in for St. Louis. Regan, glove side. And nice job by Ratzloff again on the draw to the slots. It's blocked. Look out. Here comes Dante Jones along with Monreal. And it's Weedhop who has the puck from the near circle. Dropped it back to Jones. Jones put it behind the net. Ratzloff pins him up against the boards. Now the chill gain control. Lozen will send it ahead. Bouncing puck kicked ahead. And it's Magnavite trying to get around. He almost did, but nice work by Mazzillo. Towards the chill blue line. Quick pass to Magnavite. Left wing, flip dump. Into the corner, they get off for a change. 4.13 left. Dangus from his own near circle. To Mozilla right circle. Bank off the right wing wall. Just a little bit past Dante Jones, and the Chill scrambling to puck in front, and oh, he couldn't control it. Now the Chill with a biscuit. Up the right wing wall, and going down was Fondadeus. Now it's... Just a Shepard trying to work it into the St. Louis end. He does. Sends it off the near corner. Comes along the end wall, far side. Mazzillo and the chill there together. And chopped to the near circle. Sent in towards the point. But now Akrovic got it down low. Dabrowski with a shot and a stick save made by Regan. Thought that one was going to go in. Now Kaplan sends it back down. Comes behind the net. 
in the corner past Fondadoos. And then Moore put it into the neutral zone. Gista Shepper will backhand it in. 3.17 left. St. Louis, the puck just outside the chill blue line. They send it in with a backhand off the stick of Moore. Lozen put it to the far wall. Magnavite centering. Now the chill take it in right wing. Dabrowski trying to get around a hip check of Dengas. And he avoid Dengas there. Nice work by Ratzloff. To Lozen. Looking for the one-timer and the blocker save made off the slapper from DeShepper. Now everyone battling along the end wall here. 2.45 and counting here in the third period. Fed back to tune to Shepper. Off Magnavite stick. Puck comes end wall. And Ratzloff trying to get position on the puck. Continues to tick. It's a grinders game now. And St. Louis okay with it. Dangus bounces it ahead looking for Hofstetter. A chill goaltender still in the net. Sent towards the net. Stick save made by Yankee. Chill now. Probably going to have, if they can get in the attack zone for anything, going to have to get that goaltender off for the extra skater. Monreal sends it towards the net. St. Louis will want to keep that puck down there so the goaltender can't come out for the extra man. And here come the chill in the neutral zone. That pass on target. Chance blocked there by Mazzillo. And the puck picked up by Monreal. Banked it up right side. Under two minutes to play. Into the chill zone it goes. Dante Jones is out there. He got to the puck first. Now the chill, not able to get it out. Look out. It's Weed Hop. He couldn't run with the puck, and here come the chill. Back the other direction. Goaltender going to move closer and closer to the net. Oh, there's a shot that was blocked on the way. Still not completely out of the net is Yankee. 135 left. St. Louis up ice. Monreal dumps it in. Yankee left it there for Dabrowski. And now here come the chill up the slot. 123, Yankee making it closer, but still, now he's gonna get to the bench. Here come the chill poke check there by Dangus, and it's gonna be Lotus, he'll just drop it in. Kill more time, 110 left. Chill, up to Dabrowski. He's got it in the neutral zone, cutting left wing, then back towards center. Empty net for the chill, Regan steers that puck away. Dabrowski hit up into the glass. Under a minute to play, that puck's gonna escape. The race is on, Lotus trying to beat Lozen. Lozen sent it to to Shepard. To Shepper tries to get it up right wing stolen away. Look out, Gallagher's off. Torzanetti misses. Now Lotus, he's got it right wing wall. Clock ticking down on the Cooley Region Chills season. It was a great one, but it looks like they're going to have to get a goal here in the next few seconds. That's sent wide by Fondadoos. Akervik and Lozen. St. Louis trying to pin that puck, but they do get it loose, and it comes all the way back into the chill end. 27 seconds remain. Dabrowski, neutral zone. Now across the line, Lindauer. Brady had it poked away. Held in by Dabrowski. Dabrowski throws it towards the net, saved by Regan, and picked up by the defense. Mozillo tries to clear. He can't get it out, but the second effort should work as it goes to the stick of Juricic. He'll send it all the way down. Three seconds left, two seconds left. One second, and the St. Louis Junior Blues are the huckleberry of the Cooley Region chill as they advance and punch their ticket to the Frazier Cup round robin in Woodbridge, Illinois. Congratulations to the Junior Blues. Two years in a row, they end the Cooley Region Chill franchise's hope. The Chill came out strong, had a dominating first period, but the Junior Blues had the second, and they got it done with three unanswered goals to advance as the Central Division champions. Both coaches having conversation down by the penalty box area. We'll get the ceremonial handshakes. What a great season it was for the Cooley Region Chill, but it ends with a final record of 38-12, one and one. They had home ice, but it didn't make a difference as the St. Louis Junior Blues win this series and have not lost a playoff game yet. Two sweeps, they swept Milwaukee, they sweep the chill. What's next for them at the Frazier Cup? As we watch the two teams with the ceremonial handshake, we say goodbye to some players that have aged out or going off to play college hockey like Brady Lindauer and Thomas Magnavite at St. Mary's. But 
you look at Tune to Shepper, who has just been a marvelous defenseman year after year when they were the freeze and now the chill. And he'll be gone. What will he do next? Connor Lozen. Seen him grow up as a young hockey player to this point. Will he play college hockey? You got to believe he's got the skill to do it. He'll be missed. There's no doubt about that. Matt Yonke, talented forward who came over from Great Falls during the season. Brandon Ratzloff, another 98 birth year that uh, is aged out of junior hockey. Donnie Schultz, who came back, played a year on Canada, and then comes back here and really was a key member of this offense that has been one of the best in all of Tier 3 junior hockey, without question. Sam Dabrowski, back and forth with this franchise. Spent time with Chippewa, went out east, the NCDC, and Sam was a key member of this team towards the end of the season. Marcus Tillman moving on to play college hockey. Tough to say goodbye to the season, but congratulations to the St. Louis Junior Blues. Probably going to get a little photo op here to put on the social networks, and the Chills salute their fans. Hope you enjoyed our coverage tonight here on the Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV. We certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. Obviously, Chill fans not happy about the result, but congratulations again to the St. Louis Junior Blues representing the Central Division. We'll be cheering for them at the Frazier Cup. You can bet on that. Thanks to Cole Richter all season long working the center ice camera. My thanks to Johnny Jones, who's a very loyal volunteer and a super big hockey fan, of course, hosted many, many chill players at his house over the years and comes here and volunteers because he loves the sport and does a great job helping us out here running the switcher and the camera. My name is Rick Frankie. It's been a great season. We hope to see you again next season as we look for year number 10 of the Cooley Region Chill in the lacrosse area. Thank you so much for joining us on Hockey TV and the Cooley Region Sports Network. As I say, each and every broadcast, good night now. This has been a CRSN broadcast presentation of Cooley Region Chill NA3HL Hockey. All of tonight's coverage has been sponsored by Cooley Bank, Bank with Confidence, Member FDIC, Waste Management, there's more to their business than meets the eye, Jones Construction, new construction or home remodeling, call 608-386-8292, Cooley Golf Bowl, the number one recreation facility in Onalaska, Ultra Federal Credit Union, Equal Housing Lender, Member NCUA. Chill Hockey is also brought to you by Radio One Broadcast School. We take you from here to air at RadioOneSchool.com. Domino's, order online at Domino's.com. Ebner Properties, a proud supporter of Cooley Region Athletics. Howie's, lacrosse's ultimate sports viewing venue. Interstate Wealth, LLC, your road to success starts right here. And by Hilltopper Refuse and Recycling Service, at your disposal since 1984. BA Burrito Company. Company, boldly mixing mad flavors delivered right to your door. And every plumbing and heating. Give them a call when you want it done right. This has been a CRSN broadcast presentation on Cooley Region Sports Network.com and HockeyTV.com. Cooley Region Sports Network. Live, local, and anywhere you can get the World Wide Web. C R S N.